In this quarter's PES Win magazine, there's a lot of good articles, and you can check them all out at PESWin.com. And if you're over in Hamburg and looking at the exhibitions all over the uh, floors there, a big part of that exhibition is about offshore wind. And one of the issues with offshore wind is the tooling that has to live out there. And an article from Hamatro, who makes hydraulic tooling that's made for offshore, they have a really interesting uh, description of what they do and all the processes and application tools that they have to have hydraulic tools in an offshore environment. Because as Joel knows, anytime you get salt water <laughs> And moving hydraulics, it is corrosion central. Yeah, one of the things to think about or to understand here is that when you get in an offshore operating environment, not only like Alan says, is the salt water, the wave heights, the you know moving things around with lifts and all this stuff. It's a very difficult environment to operate in. But almost everything, and this is where it makes it difficult, almost every tool you use offshore for construction or decommissioning for that matter is custom built. And you're dealing with really, really large things. It's not like you go to snap on and say, hey, give me this tool or Milwaukee tool. Like, hey, give me this thing. And we'll, and yeah, we may, we make a hundred thousand of these and we'll sell you one. Every single piece of equipment that goes offshore in these large, large applications is custom built for the application. So whether it's decommissioning or construction, uh, you have to make it. Usually these things are designed in like a, a front end study. So Someone like Homatra will get involved with a uh, wind farm that's being built years sometimes ahead of when the actual thing gets out there because they need to develop the, th the tool, they need to build the tool, they need to test the tool, they need to get it ready to roll before that thing is, gets out and moving, that construction project, because you don't get to just run to Home Depot and buy a new tool. Everything has to be custom built. And the other side of this thing is what, what Holmatro does is they're hydraulic specialists. Uh, so you know in the offshore world, hydraulics is the only thing that you really can make the kind of power, create the kind of power that you need to cut, to move, to you know straighten out a monopile or to, to um, crush something down or, or connect something because electric pumps or just don't do it. Um, a lot of the times in a subsea environment, you're having a what's called called a work class ROV, the remotely operated vehicle, it becomes the the hands, the eyes, the ears, the the everything in that subsea realm. And a work class ROV will usually be like 150 horsepower is what they call it. But that 150 horsepower is driving hydraulic pumps. And if you've ever seen like a house lifting jack or a car jack or something, that's all hydraulics because it's the only way to control that kind of power. So these guys are uh, specialists, this Homatro company that's in PES Win this magazine this month. They're specialists in creating these special these specific tools that are needed for specific actions on an offshore wind farm for from construction all the way through decommissioning. Yeah, one of the things that Homatro focuses on is in-house R and D and innovation, and that can go really far into make, making sure as a client of of someone like this. Because I've seen places where some of the engineering gets farmed out here some of the engineering gets farmed out there a piece gets built here you put things together here and the companies that usually provide tools that just simply work and work day in and day out are the ones that have controlled the design and build and deployment process from start to finish and that's what homatro does bringing quality to the uh to the offshore wind market so check out the latest pes wind magazine at peswind.com